Assalamu alaikum. So I just want to understand one thing in Christianity. Because in Christianity, it is so important for Christians to believe that Jesus is God. So why does the Bible not say that directly? If that is so important, then why is it so confusing to know if that's the truth in the Bible? Because there are verses that Christians want to use and say, because of these verses, I will just post some verses here. These are verses that people, I mean Christians, want to use and say, if you read those verses, you will know that he is God. And I have read this verse and I still don't think he's God, by the way. Like they want to interpret in their own words that the Jesus says, I am, and that means I am God. And he does not say, I am God, though. He does not say anywhere in the Bible that he is God. That's just your interpretation does not mean that he is God. Anyway, and then another thing, this verse, I and the Father are one or something like that. That still also does not mean Jesus is God. Just like people can say we are one nation or something like that, but doesn't mean they are the same people. So that still doesn't prove it. Anyway, another thing, if that's the case, if Jesus is truly God, then why confuse people? Because there are verses in the Quran says he's prophet. Then there are verse in the Quran says there is only one true God. And then there is also verse of him, of Jesus, praying to God that he put his forehand on the ground and pray to God, which Christians don't follow this verse from the Bible because I don't see Christians praying like that. So are you following Jesus, praying the way he prayed? And are you praying to the one he prayed to? Or are you praying to Jesus, which Jesus didn't pray to himself? Jesus never claimed to be God. Jesus never said, worship me. If that is the case, like the Christians want to say, I think they would, I mean, the Bible would clearly just say, Jesus would clearly just say in the Bible, I am God, worship me, clearly, without confusing people, without all these other verses contradicting him being God, because God is all-knowing and Jesus did not know the hour. So why all this confusion? Instead, just be clear and not with all these contradictions. Anyway, I personally do not believe in the Bible anyway. I believe in the Quran. I follow the Quran because the Quran has not been changed. It is the same as in the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It has not been changed at all. It is the same. But we cannot say the same about the Bible. The authors are anonymous. We cannot, we don't know who wrote the Bible that we have in today's time. This is not the same book that Jesus had. This is not Injil. We Muslims believe the book that Jesus had in his time and the book that Moses had in his time, but these books we don't have in today's time. We only have Quran because Quran is for today's time. And I know that people want to say, there are some Christians who want to say that Jesus came to earth to show like us an example of what to do. He's really God in their eyes, but he just came to earth to show what to do. That's why he was praying to God. That's their explanation. But still, 
Christians do not follow his example because, like I said, they do not pray like Jesus prayed. And they do not pray directly to God like Jesus did. Because they, when they pray, they pray in Jesus' name. That's what they say, Astaghfirullah. And that's not how Jesus prayed, by the way. So, another thing, Christians eat pork, they do all kinds of things. So, are you really following Jesus? That's another example. In the Bible, it doesn't say about Trinity. It doesn't say about Jesus was born 25th December. It doesn't say about Christmas. It doesn't say about Easter. All these things are made up. That's it. I cannot follow a religion that is not authentic.